In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to create PewDiePie psychedelic background. Now, if you're a fan of PewDiePie, you might know that there's this psychedelic red background that PewDiePie keeps on using with black lines, which goes on uh, on his video and stuff, which is technically, literally his brand identity design, I'd say at this point, because he has a lot of merchandise, such as the mouse, headphones and everything like that. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So first things first, we are going to straight jump into our composition today. And we are not going to be creating any solid backgrounds for the background here, because there is a reason why we're going to be changing the color. We'll get to that soon. So instead of creating a solid background from layers, what we'll do is we're going to take this rectangle tool and then we're just going to simply create a rectangle. So this is the color that I'll be using for PewDiePie's uh, color. It's D50230. So in case if you wanna use the same color. So once that is done, what I'll be doing is I'll be adding a vignette. I hope I'm pronoun pronouncing it right to this and i'll keep it the amount to 100 it's fine the angle of view is also fine i'll keep it to a 45 so that it's not all the way blasting that um spicy red or that really bright red so that's how i'm gonna dim, dim it so after that is done what we're gonna do is we're going to take our pen tool we're going to create a stroke which is gonna be black I'm gonna turn off the fill color for this. Uh, it's, the stroke's gonna be 30 pixels for this one. And I will create a straight line. So I'll press my left button mouse over here and press and hold shift and left mouse button again to end the line. So once I have that, there you go. We have a line, which is technically going to be the wave of the PewDiePie psychedelic animation. So, the next thing that I will be doing is I will be jumping to the, okay, I'll be actually naming these layers first. So I will be naming this the, as a wave and this as the background. So name it the background. Okay, so we're gonna start working with the wave first. We're gonna go to our effects and presets and go look for wave warp. So we're gonna apply the wave warp to this and try to achieve the wave that PewDiePie psychedelic animation has. So it's gonna be sine, the wave type, the wave height could be around 210. I played with these values before, so I have the accurate values for now. And the width would be around 367, I believe. And for the direction, I'm gonna set it to around 69. So this is gonna look something like that. After that, we're gonna change the wave speed a bit later when we're looking at the speed. Uh, I'm gonna set the pinning to the vertical edges so that it doesn't start spinning the vertical edges and then form a wave in the center. So after that, I'll be moving the face to maybe about 144, maybe 144. Okay, so once that is done, this is where the best part begins. We're, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump to add to the wave layer and go to add and get yourself a repeater. So the repeater is going to help us repeat this shape as many as times as we want. So we are going to have around, I'd say around 10 copies for now. Let's see how it looks like. Uh, we can still see it because we have to work with the position. Before that, there's one thing I'd be doing is that I'll be aligning this wave to the top over here, just like that. So once that is done, we're gonna go to our transform repeater. Make sure you're under transform repeater and go to the position. And we're gonna, instead of making this position to 100, we're gonna make this a zero. And then we're gonna start playing with this to maybe around 160. So as you can see that we already have PewDiePie's psychedelic background animation right over here. It's not exactly the same uh, according to the waves, but it's really close. That's how close I could get. So once that is done, um, 
the magic about wave warp is that it animates the waves already so you don't have to worry about that it already has a motion if you look into it it's pretty cool so if we set it to one and play it you can see that it's really fast we do not want that so we're gonna set the speed to 0.1 instead and let's see how it looks like so this is way better it's more soothing it's a psychedelic background so we don't really want to distract the users like what is going on all the time so we're gonna keep it slow keep it cool keep it calm all right, so once that is done, the next thing that we're gonna work on is if you've noticed the psychedelic background and the waves, they change at times from red to black and then back to black to red. Um, so we're gonna also do that. So this is the reason why I used the background as a rectangle instead of the solid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the background first, go to your background, go to your rectangle and then go to your fill. So you, under there, you can see there's something called the color and this is what we're gonna mess with. So around one second, I will come over here and start a keyframe. And then I'll go around maybe around 40, uh, 40 frames. Over here, I will be changing this to black. All right, so if you notice now that it becomes black after a while, now, in the same way, I'm going to do it for the wave, but instead of having this, I'm going to do vice versa with it. So same thing, we're just going to, actually, I'm going to close the repeater, go to shape one, go to fill, and then over here, we're going to, oh, not fill, my bad. We're going to go to stroke, and then from here, we're going to start with color, go to 40 frames, 40 frames later, we're going to change the color. What is the color for this? I'll actually get it from here so i'll get this color copy and then come over here change this color to this so that's pretty cool so now if you notice that it changes gradually as the time goes so we're gonna keep it there for maybe another one second or so so we're gonna jump to 240 around here just because I'm not going to be accurate for now so I'll copy this keyframe and paste it here and spend about more 40 frames around here probably I'll copy this paste it here so once that is done I'll do the same over here we're gonna go to this and then over here, you can call this. So it's back to red. So we hit play now. You can see that it changes and it's going smoothly. Maybe I'll increase this a bit more so that there's a better timing for it to change. Around 3.30 maybe. Yeah, that would be fine, I guess. And I'll shorten down to five seconds. So it goes to black, stays there for a while, goes back to red again. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something new. And I love PewDiePie. That's the reason why I made this tutorial. So yeah, that's all about it. I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss.